Hello, this is Axel from Thunderbird Daily. In case you're on my channel for the first time, here's where I introduce features of my various Thunderbird add-ons and also general tips on Mozilla Desktop Mail. This video is for the release of Smart Templates 1.3. As always, a link to the full change log is available in the low bar and can also be viewed by clicking on the version number in the About Smart Template dialog. So let's get to the new features. A new option for delimiting the name list with characters other than commas. When an email is sent to many people, Thunderbird and Smart Template normally delimit them with commas. So if you use the Smart Template variable to or cc, you may end up with a long list of recipients. Here's an example for a mail with three recipients. The name portion of recipients can have various formats. They may contain parentheses, quotation marks and commas themselves. So having commas between them may actually be confusing. Outlook is using semicolons because the name of corporate emails often contain commas. So now you can use the same method by configuring Smart Template 4 in Settings. Click Advanced to open the right panel. Click the Advanced Settings tab. The setting delimit multiple correspondence with is set to comma. Simply type semicolon to achieve an Outlook style recipient list. The next improvement is better support for the new paragraph mode in Thunderbird. This new option on the global settings tab will make sure that you are really always starting up in writing a paragraph. This way, when you hit the Enter key, you get a nicely spaced layout, just like paragraphs on word processors and also on Outlook. It will make sure to create a paragraph if you have forgotten to put one in your template. Finally, I have yet again improved the integration with the stationary add-on by removing default code headers from the template and inserting the account-specific code header instead. So instead of writing on the 23rd of July 2016, John Doe wrote, now we can have something nicely formatted and much more useful, even when using a stationary HTML file. More fixes are listed on the version history page on our support site at modsdev.org. My PC is getting a little too slow, so I'm currently saving for a new development computer, which is also going to be used for video and sound production. If you would like to contribute to help the development in this channel, just click on the donate link on the version page, or simply click the orange button on any of my add-on configuration dialogs. Thanks for watching. Have a great summer.